Hello everyone, it's Super Easy Matt again. In this video, we will talk about functions, so let's get started. First of all, what is a function? It's an expression that defines a relationship between input x and output f of x. We can say it's something like a machine. It takes x as an input and produces f of x as an output. And in this machine, some mathematical calculations are performed. For example, suppose that f of x equal to x plus 4. So x is the input, and in this function machine, x is multiplied by 2, then added to 4, in order to produce an output f of x. The same for h of x and g of x, so these are also functions. Just a note, we say f of x, it does not mean that f is multiplied by x, so f is expressed in term of x. Let's take some examples of functions. Let's look at the function f of x equal to x plus 5. We will take different values or different input values and see what will be the output. Suppose that x equal to minus 1, 0, and plus 1. What will be the output in this case? So just plug minus 1 in the expression. We will get 2 times minus 1 plus 5. So when x equal to minus 1, f of x equal to 3 or plus 3. When x equal to 0, so 2 times 0 plus 5, f of x equal to 5. And when x equal to plus 1 or 1, f of x equal to plus 5 equal to 7. So as you notice, for every value of x, we should get only one output value f of x. Let's take another example. f of x equal x squared minus 1. So let's take some values for x and see what will be the output f of x. So suppose that x equal to minus 1, 0, and plus 1. For x equal to minus 1, just plug it in the equation. So f of x equal to 0 here. And for x equal to 1. So as you notice, for every value of x, we are getting one and only one output f of x, so this is a function. Now let's see the difference between function and not a function. So here, for every input value, we are getting one output value. So when, it, when the input is q, the output is only 4. So every input is giving us one and only one output. In this case, it's a function. The same here. So when the input is A, we get only one output, 1. When B, we get 2. When the input is C, we get 3. And when the input is D, we get 4. So these are examples of function. However, here, if you look, when the input is S, we got two outputs, 6 and 7. So this is not a function. So because for one input, we get two different values 6 and 7 so it's not a function the same here when the input is c we got two different outputs 3 and 4 so this is not a function another example so here when the input is a 3 the output is minus 1 so it's okay we get only one output but just look here when the input is 6 we got Two different outputs minus 1 and 7 so immediately this is not a function because for the same input we got two different outputs then it's not a function let's look at these two examples so here minus 2 3 so when the input is minus 2 the output is 3 
for every input we are getting one and only one output so this is a function so yes it's a function what about the second one for the input x equal to 6 the output equal to minus 1 it's okay but look at this when the input is minus 2 the output is minus 3 and here when the input is minus 2 the output is 5 so when the when the input is minus 2 we got two different outputs minus 3 and 5 so it's not a function other example of function so for every value of x we are getting one and only one value of y so this is a function what about this one if you notice here for x equal to 1 y equal to and for x equal to 1 y equal 8 so for the same input we are getting two outputs then this is not a function here domain and range they are the same as input and output we will talk about them later so let's see if this one is a function or not so so just look here when the input is 2 the output is 9 and when the input is 2 the output is 1 so same input give us two outputs then this is not a function so it's not a function what about these so for x equal to minus 1 f of x equal to 3 for x equal to 0 f of x equal to 4 for x equal to 1 f of x equal to 3 so for every input we are getting one output then this is a function the next one for x equal to 5 y equal to 1 or f of x equal to 1 for x equal to 5 f of x equal to 4 so for the same input we got two different outputs 1 and 4 then it's not a function how to know if a graph is a graph of a function or not we have something called vertical line test so just look at these two examples we will draw a vertical line like that if any of these vertical lines intersect the graph in more than one point then it's not a function so here this vertical line intersect the graph in one point and this one in one point so this is a function because we have only one intersection point but if you look at this example if we draw a vertical line like that it intersect the graph in two points so this is not a function let's take some examples so just draw a vertical line anywhere in this graph like that so you notice that it intersect the circle in two points so this is not a function what about this one if we draw a vertical line here for example we have one intersection point so anywhere we will have only one intersection point so this is a function what about this one if we draw a vertical line here we will get two intersection point so it's not a graph of a function the same here so we have only one intersection point so it's a graph of a function what about this one so here we get here we get three intersection points so this one this one and this one so it's not a function and the last one so just draw a vertical line so one intersection point is okay as you notice we are getting one intersection point so it's a graph of a function hope it's clear and finally it's your channel so please subscribe